Hi everyone, I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe during this time. Today I will be showing you guys how I do my favorite go-to style which is the twist and curl. So I'm showing you guys my sides because I got the last time I got them shaven was March 2nd and you guys can see they're very grown out. <laughs> So I like to start first by pre-pooing my hair and I use the Pantene 3 Minute Conditioner. And then I washed my hair with the Tresemme Moisture Rich Shampoo. And then to deep condition, I use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Mask. I love the smell and I love that it helps with hair growth. So I'm gonna first start by parting off the longer hair from the shorter hair. And you guys can see my hair has gotten long. <laughs> so for my sides, I don't really do much or anything special. I usually just use like a hair moisture milk or something like that, just so you know, keep it moisturized. And for the pieces that are a little longer, I just finger coil them. Um, I really just use anything. It doesn't really matter like what you use for your sides. So I'm first starting off by parting the front of my hair and I don't use combs as you guys can see and I do this because it gives a less harsh look. And then I just sprayed it with water. And for my leave-in, I use the Kinky Curly Knot today. It is an OG of mine. I always notice that I go back to this product. It's got slip, it smells good, it has moisture. So my biggest tip whenever you're doing any of these types of styles, always make sure you smooth your hair and detangle your hair. I really like to massage these products in before I do anything else. So I'm just sectioning off and then I'm going to use the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. This is a combo between a hair butter and a gel. My hair thrives on hair butters. I have a lot of hair and it so requires a lot of moisture, but I also need definition. And the Camille Rose Aloe Whipped Butter Gel is that perfect in between. So again, I'm massaging the products in and then I detangle and this leaves a nice smooth twist in its wake and if you don't know how to twist I'm sorry <laughs> but to twist it I literally just place one strand over another and I make sure that my twists are as tight as possible and then as I get to the ends if I need to add more product I go ahead and do so and then I twirl my ends around my finger and then I'm using this oil mixture I just made it myself. It's just Jamaican black castor oil and mint oil. And then for my perm rods, I use the bigger ones in the front for a more voluminous look and the smaller ones in the back, which I'll show you in a second. But all I do is wrap the end of the hair onto the perm rod and I smooth it over. And then I just simply roll the perm rod under itself and the hair just wraps. And then I just snap it shut. It's very easy to use perm rods. Bless you, girl. Bless you. So again, I like to just apply the product and really massage it in and further detangle. My hair was already detangled, but with product with hairstyles like this, you really want to make sure that your hair is as smooth as possible. So again, I just twist the whole row and then applied the oil. Water break. No, honestly though, this is my last brain cell since this quarantine has been underway. So again, I just roll the perm rod under. It's very easy to do, it's very quick. And then I use the 5 sixteenths of an inch perm rods, which are the pink ones in the back of my hair. And also, you guys can get a better look of how the back of my hair has been growing out since I shaved it. And I, again, just really make sure to smooth it. And then the smaller perm rods are a lot easier to use, I will admit that. And then I'm just going to oil my scalp one more time, put my bonnet on, and go to sleep. And I let my hair set overnight 
and this is just what it looks like the next morning and I first like to take all of the perm rods out before I do anything else just take them out all at once just makes it easier and then I just use any old hair oil for shine in my hair and then I just like to separate them I don't like separate them fully I just undo the twist And then I just gave you guys a little close-up of how my hair looks just from untwisting it. You guys can see my hair is very shiny. It's very moisturized. It looks defined as heck. Like my hair looks good and I haven't even finished yet. So when I am separating my hair to give more volume, I like to separate where it naturally, you know, parts itself and then I twirl the curl back under my finger and so I do this to not disturb the curl. And I just go all throughout my hair and separate the curls. And this just, as I said, provides more volume and it just looks good. So on my sides, I just like to use my wave brush. Obviously my hair is too long for waves, but I just use this to kind of smooth it down. And sometimes I do use edge control, but I'm home, so I don't really need to. So if you want, you can just leave your hair like this, but I want more volume. So I'm just gonna pick my hair out some more. So when I pick my hair, I take it to the base of my head and I kind of shake it out. And I just kind of, you know, give it a little wiggle shake thing. And I really am careful to not disturb the curls. So I use some pins to kind of give myself a banged look in the front because if I don't, my hair will stick straight up and that's not what I want. And this is it. This is it. It's very quick, very easy, and it looks bomb. And the thing is, this is one of those styles where as the days go by, it only looks better. It will look even better if my sides were shaven, but alas, they're not. But you get the idea. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, subscribe to my channel, girl. It's free, it's fun, it's a good time, and I really think you'll like my videos. So thank you again, and I will see you in my next video. And if you aren't already, make sure you go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, which is just Curls on Kyla, to see what I'm doing outside of YouTube.